Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Mukhit and today we are going to see about SAP Basis Introduction and Introduction to R3 Architecture. At the end of the session, you will know what is SAP, you will get the idea of role of SAP Basis Administration and also you will get the overview of SAP R3 Architecture. What is SAP? SAP is started from Germany. It stands for System Application Products in Data Processing. And it is responsible to develop software application. SAP is founded in the year 1972 by five IBM engineers. You can see the names on the screen. The software application are treated as ERP software application where ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. The main competitor of SAP what I can say is Oracle. So let's see the next thing what we have. Here I had listed out few products of SAP. As you can see there SAP ERP, Enterprise Resource Planning, SAP CRM, Customer Relationship Management, SAP PLM, Product Lifecycle Management, SAP SEM, Supply Chain Management, SAP SRM, Supplier Relationship Management, and the legacy products R1 and R2. Here I had listed out few SAP modules of functional and technical. I had just listed out few basic modules, not the complete list at, as it is a beginning level for you. So just a brief idea about the modules. As you can see there, FICO, that is finance and control, PP, production and planning, MM, material management, SD sales and distribution, HR human resources, and the technical modules ABAP, BASIS, XI, BI, and EP. SAP is providing the industry solutions to aerospace and defense, automotive, banking, chemicals, consumer products, defensive and security, healthcare higher education, industrial machinery, insurance, life sciences, logistic, media, mining, oil and gas, farm actuals, postal services, professional services, railways, telecommunications and so on. So this is all, ab all about SAP. So let's see the next thing. Okay, the basic role of SAP basis admis administrator is to make sure all the SAP systems what we have in the SAP landscape are up and running fine, obviously by continuously monitoring. And SAP basis administrator is responsible for installing or we can say implementing and configuring the SAP system. Performing backup and restore of SAP system database. Like whenever we have a requirement of backup and restore, we have to perform. For an example, a quality refresh or building the system for training or testing, so on. Performance tuning and to check and schedule background jobs and to check and configure TMS, the transport management system and even we have to continuously monitor the transport management system configure op operational modes, printers, etc. Here I had listed out only the few basic things of SAP basis consultant and there are a lot of things for an example, like even 
we have to manage SAP users, we have to manage the authorizations, profiles, and to perform client, client administration, and etc. So on. So let's see the next thing what we have. SAP R3 architecture where R3 R stands for real time or run time SAP R3 architecture can be divided into the three main divisions like depending upon their functionality the presentation layer application layer and database layer Here you can see a diagram where I had mentioned the presentation layer where SAP GUI is sitting, the application layer where the dispatcher and the work process, the message server and the gateway, the dispatcher is sitting, the NQ server and next we have the database layer where the data is getting stored and the Examples of database are like Oracle, DB2, MS SQL, MaxDB and the latest things what we have from SAP is SAP Sybase and SAP HANA database which is booming the market right now. So let's see the next thing. So like before moving to the application layer let's have a like a brief information about the presentation layer the presentation layer is responsible for presentation of data for users and the receiving of user entries we can use like sap gui for html where we can access sap system through web browser that is based on HTML and also we can use SAP GUI for desktop for Windows version where we have to install the SAP GUI.exe application obviously on the front end system where we from where we want to access so simply we can select SAP system from front end by SAP GUI we can access the SAP system So this is about the presentation layer. So let's see the application layer. So application layer is like where the application programs are executed. The application layer contains a kernel written in C or C++ that serves as a platform for application programs and the application layer contains the following things that you can see on the screen the message server work process dispatcher gateway service shared memory and kernel if we have to talk, talk about the work process there are a lot of things to talk about in work process so that we will see in the next thing right now we will discuss about the message server message server is responsible for the communication between the instances of SAP system work process are the components that are able to execute an application each work process is linked to a memory containing the context of the application being run and we have like there are different type of work process that we will see on the next slide so let's move on to the dispatcher the dispatcher decides and send the request to the appropriate work process and it is also responsible for making the work process free next we have the gateway gateway it is responsible for communication between the SAP 
to SAP and SAP to non SAP system. The normally the port number of this is double three double zero plus NR, where NR is the instance number of your SAP system. And next, as you can see, we have the shared memory. All the work processes of an ABAP application server uses a common mem memory area that is called as shared memory to, to save the context or to buffer constant data locally. So this is about the application layer and even you can see the kernel kernel like it is a directory where we have the list of executables that is required for running the sap system in simple we can say like kernel is the heart of the sap system which is very very important because it contains the all the executables even like for starting the sap and even for stopping the sap and as it, as you can see on the diagram we like for example let's say if i have to log in like the before what we have seen in the before slide where the users can log in into sap from the presentation layer for an example i can say that the presentation layer let's say it is in india and the application layer and the database layer are in us so as a user i can access the sap system via sap gui by sitting anywhere in the world the only thing what i need if i am using sap gui is sap router string that you will come to know in the later classes and if i am using the sap gui for html the concept there is for SAP Web Dispatcher that we will see and the database layer is responsible for storing the data. So whatever I give a request from SAP GUI, it will go to the SAP Dispatcher as you can see here which is there in the application layer. So depending upon the type of request the dispatcher assign the work to the appropriate work process which will process the request maybe it can be read write or read write at the same time like we have the message server and the gateway service which we had already seen what is your work so let's move to the next thing the different work process in application layer are dialog work process background update spool and nq let's see the detail like what is the work of all these work process so starting from dialog work process as you can see it is it can be represented by dia in the short form and it is responsible for processing each dialog work process contentively handle 10 presentations but one at a time dialog work process maximum runtime is set as default 600 seconds which we can increase or decrease by setting the parameter value as we can set the parameter value in the transaction rz10 or rz11 that you will come to know later and also like minimum two dialog work process should and must be available in each instance of sap system now here i want to tell you one more thing let's say we have only one uh, in application layer we have installed the central instance the application server and by default like something for example we have set the number of dialog work process as 10 
but the number of users logging in are more like they are in 100 in numbers or 15 numbers so the 10 dialogue work process if they are not able to handle the work like something should be in waiting or available to handle the request if they are not in waiting again that the next request will be in queue so to avoid this thing what we can do is we can go for additional application server that is called as dialog instance so dialog instance we can install in like separately additional host or system to like have a like uh, what I can say the workload balancing thing so the message server it will continuously communicates between all the application servers or instances of SAP system so let's see the next thing what we have background work process the background work process I, as you can see they are represented by BTC in the short form or BGD I can say and they are responsible for longer tasks without that is without uh, user interaction and also like there is no time limit for defined for background execution even output of uh, a background work process can be directed to a printer or a spool request so the next thing what we have is update work process update work process they are represented by UPD or UP2 and even as V1 and V2 and they are responsible for saving the data in the database tables and next we have the spool work process the spool work process they are represented as SPO and are responsible for printing an SAP system and next we have the NQ that are represented by ENQ and they are majorly responsible for locking mechanism which prevents uh, the dead lock situations or the database tables one can have four NQ per central instance but even like one can handle any sort of locking situations I can say so this is what we have in the application layer of SAP system so maybe now you got the idea of what is SAP what is the role of SAP basis administrator and the R3 architecture of SAP basis now the next thing what we have is the SAP landscape that we will see on the later classes.